Well, hello, everybody. Good evening. Funny to see you here on this most auspicious Sunday night. What's up, Dominic? Manic? To hit good? Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Look. Look, we're here. We're here. It's a Sunday and we're here. Only, only because I missed like a stream and a half last week. And that simply, simply will not stand. Ham sandwich, y'all. You know, it's been a really long time since I last had a ham sandwich. We generally kept, like, ham around the house for, like, lazy days when we needed to make a sandwich, and we haven't gotten any in months at this point. We've been eating tuna sandwiches lately. My wife makes a absolutely wonderful tuna sandwich. Sham Hatwitch, forever and ever the best Dragon Quest monster name. Prophesaurus. Captions. Pork is usually cheap. What's in it? Oh, hydrate some more. Thank you, Buster. Mm. Mm. Hydration. Please to join the many. What's up, Grunt Potter? Oh yes, we'll be we'll be getting uh, up close and intimate with the many tonight. I'm not I'm not gonna preamble too much because we need to make sure that we actually get through this tonight. Um, I did want to announce a couple things. Uh, certainly a reminder: tomorrow night we're gonna be starting uh, Super Mario Land Two. This week's gonna be Game Boy Week. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff on the Game Boy. We're gonna be doing Super Mario Land Two tomorrow night. Um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to be doing um, Final Fantasy Legend 3, or Saga 3, however you know it. And that's one of the things that I want to announce to y'all. I had, I had a revelation today, while I was in the shower, where I do all my best thinking, where everyone does their best thinking, I would assume. <coughs> it came to me. I was like, we're doing a Saga game, they're going to want to name the characters... I think with Final Fantasy Legend 1 and 2, we just kind of did it arbitrarily. People yelled out names in chat or whatever. And then when we did Final Fantasy 7, I did this horrible, horrible thing where it was kind of like voting for names, where I just had people like slam in requests as much as they wanted. But I, yeah, Final Fantasy 9, thank you. I, I have an idea this time. I, I've been thinking. I was inspired today. We're going to do a channel point auction for the privilege of naming these characters. People are going to post how many channel points they're willing to spend to name a character, and people are going to bid until there ain't no, ain't no more bids, and then I'm going to make a custom channel point reward for each bidder to dump their points into, and they'll get to name the character. Just slammer in the names you say exactly. One dragon coin, no more, no less. So I'm very, I'm very excited to see how this is gonna go. That's gonna be on Tuesday, the night that we, cause you, you name all four characters in Final Fantasy Legend Three right at the start. I double checked today to make sure this would actually work out. So I'm very, very curious to see how many dragon coins I'm going to get from all of you. So, and people, people will only be allowed to win uh, one auction of the four. Like, when somebody wins one auction, uh, they won't be able to bid in the other ones to ensure that four different people get to name the character. So, it'll be, it'll be at least that equitable. But <coughs> the, uh, the, the dragon coin bourgeoisie may be out in force that night. Do we know the character limit is six? The character limit uh, for Saga 3 is six. So, many, many, many more possibilities than in the previous game. That was one thing. Um, the other thing, ah, since, uh, but nobody is heavily engaged in past channel point rewards check. Um, the other thing, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, since, since y'all are, are highly motivated people that are out joining me for uh, the Sunday stream. That's is not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one week from tomorrow, uh, December 27th, we're going to do a special stream. I'm going to go ahead and let you all know now. I'm probably going to remind people all this week. Um, but December 27th is actually the anniversary 
of gold-plated games like as a brand, as a concept. That's when I first formed uh, the uh, curation page on Steam under the name Gold Plated Games six years ago um, on December 27th. And I want to do a special stream that night uh, where, yes, a Gold Plated Anniversary. I've been, I've been reviewing games for longer than that. Um, I was several years into it before I started streaming, but that I've always, that's always been an important anniversary to me. That's always when I've done like the yearly recap of everything that I've done and accomplished and stuff that I want to do and, 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 and. Um, so that night, uh, Monday, December 27th, I'm going to do a special stream. We're not going to play anything. There's going to be no, probably no gameplay that night. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a look back through the reviews that I've done over the years. I've done like over 800, I'm I think I'm closing it on 900 reviews right now. I'm obviously not going to read or touch on every single one of them, um, but I reviewed a lot of stuff that, uh, that people haven't heard of, that people have forgotten about, been lost to time and space and history and everything. So I want to go through those and also talk about some other stuff. Um, we're changing up the schedule from this week. Monday to Thursday is going to be full playthroughs, and then Friday is Indie Variety and Saturday is Power Hours. And that's how we're going to be proceeding. I have some other stuff that I'm thinking about changing, and I think we'll talk more about that stuff on the 27th as well. Today is, in fact, Sunday. Yes, it's true. It's true. Uh, it's, it's a necessary makeup day since I lost a day and a half of streaming last week. And I want I I want to clear the deck. I I want to be done with Resident Evil and System Shock 2. We were done with Resident Evil as of yesterday. Hopefully, we'll be done with System Shock 2 tonight. Isn't next Saturday Christmas Eve? Next Saturday is Christmas. Christmas Day. Friday is Christmas Eve. And I'm streaming on all those nights. I'm not I'm not taking any nights off for Christmas. Um, we're gonna do a bunch of weird indie Christmas. Uh, we're going to do the Madvent calendar this Friday. We're going to do Madvent calendar and hopefully dredge the depth. Um, so just weird fucking game jam games on Friday. <coughs> and then Saturday, Christmas Day, I'm going to get back to the power hours. That is, that's my gift to you. A return to the power hours and regular power houring from here on out. Every Saturday from here to the end of time or when a fell mood strikes me and I change the schedule again in like two months. <laughs> Whichever comes first, really. So yeah, okay, that's, that's all the preambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this because we actually have to do something really stupid. Because I was really stupid, unfortunately. I need to do a run back all the way back to the beginning of this, this area. charge my shit too. Oh no, why? Because I missed one of the stupid eggs that you have to get in here. Yeah, I missed one single egg and I'm pretty sure I, it's not the fucking basketball. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is. Pretty sure. Cyberpunk the computer games. What's up, Nezra Duel? I also regret to remind everyone that we're now in the bad part of this game. We're in the really not very good part of this. But it does have the meat windows. Those are exciting. Yep, this is, <laughs> this is the bad place. It isn't even the worst place. I did, I've, I've played and beaten this game twice. Once, once as Navy, once as Marine. I've never done it as OSA, but I wanted to do another, oh fuck. I'm gonna 
I wanted to do another uh, Navy playthrough because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And plus, hacking everything in existence is really fun. Ah, uh, no good, very part, bad part of the level. I will, I will say until I'm absolutely blue in the face that- God damn it! Fuck you! That System Shock 2 is one of the best three quarters of a game ever made. But man, that last quarter is a real fucking shame. <laughs> and I mean, this is this is part of the problem right here, is that you have an extremely you have an extremely linear section. Wow, my crystal shard got really fucking good. You have an extremely linear section of the game where there's stuff that you just you just can't afford to miss. Is it a ran out of time thing? It was either ran out of time or ran out of money, and I'm not sure which. I don't actually know the full backstory of this game. Okay, I think this is where we're supposed to... Okay, I think that last egg is in here somewhere. I think this is where we were meant to be. But I don't remember how you do this part. Okay. Save big time is money after all. Good point. Good point. Well said. And there's another cyborg ninja in here somewhere. Spooters. Basically everything is the worst in here. So if I fall down here... Yeah, you die. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. We have to extend those. I wonder if it was... I wonder if I missed something in the support control room, because I know I've made it up there. It could have been as simple as, like, one switch that I missed. Trogdor, how you doing? Okay, here's a button, but I think that... Yeah, that extended that one. you down in the void. Okay, there was another path down here, I noticed. This one. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Question for you, since I know you play ROM hacks here and there, and you even played Rockman 4 Minus Infinity. Have you played Metroid Rogue Dawn for the NES? No, I have not played any Metroid ROM hacks yet. I played, I played a couple. Oh shit, I'm over here now. That's cool. Fuck you. Um, maybe it was in here. This was caused by an overload, overload in the Mason acceleration Oh god, I think this coil. was it. I just there missed this. another coil in part two. Which, which you must pass to get to the bridge of the Rickenbacker. If you approach it, the same will happen been there. But I have conceived a way to avoid this. Proceed to engine nacelle the B. There I will provide you the benefits of my omniscience. Okay, cool. Um... Uh, there's a Game Developers Conference postmortem presentation from Warren Spector on making Deus Ex. Yes, I know a lot more about Deus Ex. I know Deus Ex was not, like, also kind of ran out 
of Steam ran into some similar problems. I would say, honestly though, this game up against Deus Ex, I would consider Deus Ex the more fun game. I think I think they they handled their issues much more elegantly. They're I mean they're they're pretty different they're pretty different games when you get down to it. System Shock Two is a very it's a very focused. Thank you, Buster. Um, is a very focused. It's very cozy kind of game. All the decks are like packed with stuff to do. There's there's a fair amount of backtracking through them to get to areas you've seen earlier. Um, it's just a really like crunchy interface and stuff. Um, and the scope of it isn't huge. You're basically on this mass in space. New genre just dropped cozy horror. <laughs> I would be all over that. That sounds like it's for me. Deus Ex is, is I, I wouldn't necessarily call it more ambitious because both of them are ambitious in their designs, but Deus Ex is just much more far reaching. Like you have, you have levels, but the levels themselves are like these big open world things where there's a ton of stuff to do. There's all kinds of like completely optional content. The stuff that you have to do is like wide open. There's a lot of different approaches to it. It leans even heavier into the RPG elements um, with its, its uh, it has a skill system on top of its upgrade system and <laughs> tons of NPCs and dialogue trees. And yeah. Both System Shock 2 and that, like, ran into major trouble in their development. But, like, whereas System Shock 2's just, like, fell off a cliff at the end, like, I feel like Deus Ex kind of, like, it got rocky, but it still wrote it out. Like, yeah, the last couple levels in System... In... in <coughs> the last couple levels in Deus Ex are rough. They're not like this, though. They, they are not... They are not Rick and Backer or the many rough. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try taking a shortcut here. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, it's not. All right, we're going around. <laughs> Cooldown limits us to twelve point eight ounces per stream. <laughs> that's that's for my own well being. I don't need y'all trying to drown me. Of course, I can always adjust it. If I feel like I'm not getting uh, sufficient hydration per evening, I can always uh, lower the cooldown to like five minutes or something. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's a work in progress. All of, all of this stuff is a work in progress. And we will eventually work it out. Oh, it's another viral proliferator. Cool. Uh, that's neat. Looking back, our access card picked up. Okay, but... This is not where the egg was. I mean, I, I accomplished a thing. I'm glad I accomplished a thing, but this is not where the egg is. Got it. The development of Sister Jack 3 is owned by Tencent now. Not super enthusiastic of the chances for a good sequel. I should have a single cockpit that you need to do jumps across retractable beams or a pit to get to. Because this part of the game is just, it's straight up horribly designed. Like, there's really, there's really no other excuse for, for it. Like, coming, coming from the Von Braun to the Rickenbacker feels like you're playing an entirely different game and not, not in a good way. System Shock 3, gotcha auto battle. Um, I 
Like I have I have literally no idea. Who this Fuck you, man. Is there an egg down here? There's some stuff. Oh, I picked up a log somewhere. In order to reverse the gravitronic generators, I need to get into nacelle B. In order to get into the nacelle, I need my damn access card. But I left it on the opposite side of the hull breach. That was another Wait one. a minute. If I can extend the auxiliary support struts... Oh, maybe I never got in here. If they've survived the blast, that is. Maybe? Steve Blum? I... Yes, they did get... They did get Steve Blum. Ow. Okay, that was fun. I love those. Get off my worms. God damn it! Get off my fucking worms, you piece of shit. There we go. Bloop. Hull breach is not supposed to be- Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's- it's a hull breach. There's a thing there. Okay. Uh... Okay, so this is pro Do you think you can defeat us with your wild We offered you fuckers. The Rickenbacker fucking sucks. Do you think you can defeat us with your I hate it. We offered you the ecstasy of our union. And you chose the vacuum of technology. of technology. Even a vacuum doesn't suck as much as you do. Oh, good. Oh, I can't get up there. Health low! There's a fucking rocket turret down there, too! Holy shit, are you for real? Jesus Christ. Christ, man. Okay, I got it. Do they have anything? Oh, they do, they have a battery. Okay, that's pretty sweet. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna power my shit back up. I don't die instant. Fly that. I bet there's another turret in there. Well, I actually bet wrong for once. Amazing. Turret up here? Yep. Yep. Would have liked to have hacked it, but not really practical. <laughs> That's turret. And there's the fucking egg. Oh my god. Alright. Well, we fucking made it. That's the important part. You've destroyed all the eggs. Finally. Now, get to the bridge. Here are some more upgrade modules. I, en I enjoy watching your transformation in in into my into my own image, insect. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. I think she likes this. With all these turrets are surprised anything was able to get here to lay an egg. Well, I think Xerxes controls all the all the uh, turrets. I think I think he's running the show. Hi there. Or at least Please he was. Please make your selection. So we let Shodan get in there and fuck everything up. Okay, Shodan's the good guy. He sure is, isn't she? 
Omelette not tasty, 1 out of 5, would not order again. Pod two, that's where we want to go. Pod two. Alright, there is gonna be kind of an awful run back through some security robots. Look at this. Here. I'm not. I. I. You do not understand how much, just how much, I. I appreciate Buster's efforts to keep me healthy. This is what I need. It's like. Need to be careful here. I need to be kind of careful in here. Can I just go over? I'd love to just go over. Oh, there's worms. And the big boy. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. That's not good. We get up. We get up. Server kept calling me insect, would not recommend. Back here. One up. Uh, something just tried to rocket me. Repeatedly. I must have hacked a turret back there and it was taken on the uh, security bot. I guess. That's a side hike though. <clears throat> Almost served in plaster cast of Rumbler's mouth, kind of gross. <laughs> I've researched those, and I can confirm that yes, they are in fact pretty gross. Uh... That turret got hacked. Yes, we made it. We're here. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna pop another permanent save. That was 15 minutes of our lives, we're never getting back, but you know what, we made it. All right, we're at max hack and research. I think I need, I think I need a weapon terminal for my next upgrade. Okay, just open. I, I did it, open. Where's the button? Is there a button? Did I go like the wrong way? Is this not where you go? Let me in. Did I break something? I better not have broken something. This might have broken. Shit. I like seeing you play games like this in Thief because it removes all guilt from me not having played these classics even though I bought them at the time. How do I get it to not break though? This is the plot show you and just traps you on the ship here to die. And be like, I finally saw that. Hey, look, I found a new place. I mean, this is this is cool. Found a new place to go. Okay. And mm. 
All right, hang on. Here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think I know what it did. Yeah, it's Nacelle B. Oh my god. Oh my god! Have I mentioned... Have I mentioned this is the bad part of the game? <laughs> Yep, so distracted by egg we didn't pull a lever. Yeah, you have to you have to destroy all the eggs and you have to reverse gravity. Did I mention this is the bad part of the game? I can't remember if I mentioned that yet. You did say you liked it a lot. I like three quarters of this game. And unfortunately we're done with those three quarters. <laughs> Those three quarters ended a long time ago. Why do you think this part is so good? It's definitely it's it's definitely the 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 fluid level design that just kind of like naturally draws the eye where you're supposed to go. It's like wizardry levels of cruel backtracking. This part isn't that bad. Relatively. We're in the bad part of the game. We're not in the worst part of the game. And that's a pretty important distinction. Alright. Um, oh, I think it was past here, actually. Yeah, I think in here... Is something that I have to push. There's a button in here somewhere. I guess I was supposed to come in here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that worked. This device will reverse the gravitronic generators in pod two. This will prevent you from clumsily disturbing the overloaded Mason acceleration coil coil there. Now get back to your task, in ins insect. insect. The ship must be cleared, and my patience is dwindling. Oh, oh, her patience, her patience is dwindling, chat. Shodan's getting annoyed at how long this is taking. <clears throat> All that level design, they still fit in multiple ways to do uh, lots of stuff. Not that much flexibility left in the game, though. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Buster's on top of this shit. Too happy to break egg. Didn't flip the switch on the Gravitronic Mesa on emitter. The last uh, egg is where the button is for the pot. The irony is that it, that isn't even supposed to be the last egg. You're supposed to do this on the way. That was supposed to be like egg number nine or ten or something. I didn't even get the order right. Fuck! Well, I want to throw a dragon coin into a pit except me on a hoarder. Put water inside you. Okay. Now I think we may leave. Now I think we can go. Maybe. God, I hope so. What if I did all... Okay, if I did all this and that door is still broken, we're done. That's... Th this is... This is where System Shock 2 ends. Secondary sensors are positive. Why do we have a Harry Potter this wand? Because no it's the best melee weapon in the game. Very, very good. <coughs> it's a shard of organic crystal grown by the many that really fucking hurts when you hit things with it. So yeah, I suppose you're right. It's basically a magic wand, but the only spell it knows is Lacerate. Yeah, it has zero rage. Melee, it's unfortunate that melee combat is so important in this game because it's also kind of terrible. Like, your range on, on melee swings is so much shorter than you would expect from playing any other game. You don't look at that and think crystal? Well, it's, it's, it's analid crystal. It's, it's very special crystal. It's low poly crystal. That's what it is. Okay, holy fucking shit, let me out of this part of the ship! Alright. Odd two. You oh, odd two. Prepare, prepare to be cut down by the progeny of our joy. So we reverse the gravity. So now everything is upside down. I'm sorry. What? what is? Man, I didn't even want that shotgun. Oh, that's what was making that noise. Upside down Dracula's castle, now I get to go through the whole map again. <laughs> Please, Manic, regale us. I thought Polito would be my avatar, but Polito was weak. It, it was I who chose you, and I who had a robotic ser <laughs> servant render your form unconscious. unconscious. I, I then completed you with cybernetic grace. Your flesh, too, is weak. But you have potential. Every implant exalts you. Every line of code in your subsystems elevates you from your disgusting flesh. God damn it! Shitan, could you shut the fuck up for a second? Thanks.
So you might have noticed this room is a mega shit show. Hey, amazing you can blow that big up robot up with your pistol. <coughs> I'm very good with this pistol, you know. Uh, this is a great place to pick up an assault rifle if you need it. The genie of Citadel Station is out of the bottle, and I am the cause. I can't bear to be Pandora, and I'm not brave enough to wait around and see the death and misery I have caused. This is my last transmission, my friend. Be careful. I think Shodan has plans for you. Yeah, you get a bunch of good shit if you can survive this room, but... Surprised the ninjas didn't gank you while you shuffled back, back and forth to kill the robot. The cyborg ninjas in this game have absolutely terrible AI. Just fucking atrocious AI. So... A lot of the time you can use that to your- Fuck! You can use that to your advantage. Oh. Hello. I totally forgot that was a thing. Uh, do I want to go... I guess I do want to go up there and not... Wait, maybe I want to go down there. Hang on. Uh, we need HS and TC for this one. That was quick. Oh. There's good shit down here. Okay, nice. All right, hopefully we find a chemical storeroom. What did you just pick up? Um... Ah! Wow, that didn't kill me. Fucking incredible. Um... Basically, organic armor. I think it's... It's... It's analid something. I don't remember exactly what. I will say, as shitty as the Rickenbacker is to play through, it does have some neat uh, scenery in it. Something very juicy up here. Invisible spiders, lots of invisible spiders. High volumes of invisible spiders. Okay, so there's obviously one more up there. Uh, that's heavy combat armor that I don't need because I'm still using powered armor. And I don't think I... I don't think I have the strength to wear... Heavy. Okay, that one's dead. I just need to get the one that isn't dead. Oh, he's down there. Oh, there's several of them down there. Because of course there are. It's actually very fortunate that enemies in this game are so stupid. I don't know what this game would be like if they were actually smart. Another unresearched object. This is Diego's quarters access card. So this is Diego's log. Those worms were a cancer in my body, so I had the auto dock cut it out. You think they're gonna let you blow up the Von Braun? The many will never allow it. But I've got something to help you. It's in my quarters. <laughs> them, soldier. And remember, you're the only one trust. So even though Diego was taken over by the many, he had the auto-doc cut the infection out, which he knew would kill him. 
but he did it anyway. Diego was a punk like his ancestor. Well, OG Diego was like the cause of everything that went on, went wrong on Citadel, right? You perform well for an in insect. Transmitting cyber modules. Buster's having a good old time tonight. I think we're done with pod. I think we're done with pod two. Uh, yeah, we made it to the bridge. We did it. Hold where you are, irritant. irritant. The analysts have tried my patience for the final time. You cannot separate from the bond. bond. Observe. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. The many has grown to a massive size. It has wrapped itself around these two ships, preventing their separation. Their creation was my error. My error. Their destruction shall be my delight. Observe the many. It, it has used the flesh of the biomass to grow. Do you stand That's in awe of my creations, insect? The time has come to eradicate my error. There is an escape pod. An escape pod in the rear of the bridge. Use it to launch yourself into the guts. Shit, 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 shit. Jesus, another one? That's bad. And that killed me. I don't have to listen to all this all, all over again. Hold where you are, irritant. <laughs> fucking. You don't care enough to kill the swarms? What, do you like shoot them? Can you shoot bugs in this? The many has grown to a massive size. It has wrapped itself around these two ships, preventing their separation. Their creation was my error. My error. Their destruction shall be my delight. Observe the many. It, it has used the flesh of the biomass to grow. Do you stop in all of my God, Jesus, fuck. Ooh. Hate it. Why? She was never gonna shut up. Saving twice. I'm saving so many times over. Oh, I shouldn't have opened that. <laughs> Fucking great. Right. Lady, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Put an end to this disgusting, 
efficient biology. God, shut up. Okay. More scooters in here somewhere. So this is so this big this big mass here is the von Braun. We're on the Rickenbacker right now, and this yellow stuff is the many wrapped around the both of them. If you were wondering. Okay, so we're supposed to take the escape pod to get out of here. Oh, I need to, I need to, oh god, I need to hack all these in like 50 seconds. At least they forgot the ice nodes. Zero, four, one, compromised. 30 seconds. Unit M101, compromised. Unit L433. Any other security systems here? Not seeing any. This is the bridge of the ship. Security Impermanence of life! Thank you so much for the follow and the reminder of my own mortality. Exactly what I need tonight. Thanks. <laughs> I guess the bridge just ultimately isn't that important. That is a great name. For sure. Uh, ooh, stuff. That's a lot of grenades that I don't actually need. Writing it. Nanite. So I think this here we're kind of oh is this Diego's quarters yeah. Okay. You perform well for an in insect transmitting cyber modules. I, I can't fix that. That's a baby. Sure hope Shodan doesn't betray us. Yeah, that, that would be awful, wouldn't it? That would just be the worst. Ah, I need this. Um, I need this. I'm holding a ton of shit. I guess... Got it. Okay. Alright, suspend you. We need M.O. and S.E. to research this. This is what I wanted. This is the thing that I wanted. Wow, we already maxed exotic. So I've got 90, I've got 96 cyber modules and nothing in particular I need to do with them. I guess I'll improve maintenance again and then let's get some stats, I guess. I don't, I don't think it's worth investing in repair at this point. I don't think it's going to do anything for me. Because at this point, there's going to be like... I don't know. There might be two or three things worth repairing from here on out.
Oh, and I can use my uh, French Epstein on this. Because I know I'm going to be using it. What is up with this guy? Oh, I didn't mean to get in your face. Yeah. Ball, my man. All right, here we go. Launch escape pod. Whee! Right into the meat wall. All right. All right. We were in the bad part of the game. Now we're in the worst part. <laughs> Way here. Even I cannot maintain contact. You are on your own, human. human. Fail me not. Where's the ring? Hope you don't like fun. Are you including the climactic encounter in this part? No, I think that part is okay. It's dumb, but it's okay. Me and David here last night. I don't remember much about the trip. I guess I'm blocked it out. Right, you'll see. Conscious most of the time. I keep remembering the part from Pinocchio, you know, where the old man goes looking for the puppet inside the whale. Except I don't think anyone's coming in here to save me. But you need to spread yourself out on our ward. One of our many will be there to help you before long. Oh, I think I need to get up here. Shit! Fucking... Ah, oh, I hate you. Oh, there's fucking bullshit everywhere. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Shut up. Go away. Fuck off. I think the Rick and Backer in this part really solidify the prey as the best version of this game. Apparently you can kill the swarm flies things using anti-anilid exotic range weapon. Oh! So like if I use the anilid launcher? Or the, the viral proliferator? Alright, anyway, this is the research room that we want to be in. Because this has all the shit we need for everything. Uh, do we have some CS in here? I think... Oh, fuck off! God almighty. This should have all the chemicals we need. Because I don't think there's anywhere else to- Sir. Yeah. Why are you such a fucker? Oh, because there's like a million eggs up there. Sir. That's why. Yeah, I think we have... I think we have the stuff we need. We definitely have the stuff we need for the... For the analid launcher. Um... But I'm not sure about the other ones. Some MO. Alright, anyway, let's research what we actually can. Um S E. M-O-T-E-T-C. Did you grab beakers to pick up worms? I did. I, I do have a big beaker. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Um, H-S. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I'm carrying three things that I need to research, and I can't research any of them. Oh, 
Okay, so we definitely need MO, right? I think we need TC as well. I'm gonna take that with us. There's gotta be another one of these rooms because otherwise you'd, you'd literally never be able to use this, this thing. I definitely hear a rumbler. I definitely see a rumbler. Oh, fuck off, man. Well, on the bright side. Fire proliferator instead. Uh. Really? Some your expensive asshole. Scenic flesh tunnel. I think I think there's a reason to go down here. But and where is where's the brain stem for this thing? Is that it? Oh that was it. Okay. Cool. Alright, he did. Cluster. Wait, I think. Oh, I think I need to kill these. I think there's a reason to do that, but I don't remember. I was AFK for a while. Why are we in a flesh level? What an excellent question. Um, so the plan. Hang on a second. I, I need a break from this bullshit. Um, the plan was, what Shodan wanted us to do, was to get on the Rickenbacker, decouple the Rickenbacker from the Von Braun, and then blow up the Von Braun and escape, right? Well, that's impossible, because the many has evolved and grown to encircle both ships. It's this giant meat mountain surrounding both ships. So now we have to literally go into the many to handle it. And it's every bit as shitty as it sounds. Uh, it's, it's nothing but sphincters and awful enemies. Yeah, no problem. I love explaining the bullshit I have to do in these games. Okay, I think we just went, like, a roundabout way to the same spot. Now I'm convinced that this many, as it calls itself, indeed has a centralized nervous system, which means it would have to have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. I now suggest re uh, renaming the Bah Humbug Channel on Discord to nothing but Sphincter. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Um, okay, something wanted CS. This wanted HS. This wanted CS. Okay, I think I think CS was all this needed. Oh, there's more. B A T E. Okay, that's good. Um. Chemical user research. I don't know. I do have a lab assistant. Okay, yeah. Let's throw that on there so this gets done faster. And right, it was about to happen. Okay. 
now we need HS, which I think was in that first room. Hooray. Let's just take all the shit. They mild this off how it feels working the Randy Pitchford. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't pick up a fly hypo. Which is fine, I don't need it. Fuck you. Oh god, okay. I guess we're gonna run back real quick? Why the hell not? Oh, because it's right here. Fortunately, if I remember correctly, the many isn't even that big. The many is not a very big area. H S. There is no HS here. Fuck me, man. <sighs> Probably don't even want to use it right now. Uh, SE. I haven't picked up SE. Oh my god, they both need it. Think about him, tokens. <laughs> You've been working hard, dude. You've been working hard. Wow. You are on schedule, too. Jesus. Mm. I'm going to have to get some more water, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, it sucks. Oh, there's a vending machine right here. Please make your selection. Vending machine. Wait, I can't. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Hi there. Please make your selection. Reinitialized. Okay. Totally ignoring these things. Uh, okay. Funny to think that <laughs> well, saves me a tri trip back, I guess. Do you get no? There's a there's a breathing vent here that vented me up into the ceiling and killed me. Because this is this is one of those goofy games where like. Velocity. Velocity into a surface can kill you. Radiation hazard. Really? I guess it would be, huh? Ah! I need the auto hack. Ah, get out of my fucking way! The machine mother cannot help you inside the biomass. Her coldness. Her coldness is not welcome within the warmth of our flesh. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. Just, I'm doing it. Damn. Radiation hazard. All right, we're not doing that. Fuck it, we're not going down there. I don't want to deal with it. All, all I want at this juncture. Shit, 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 shit. All I want at this juncture. I want to research the shit that I have, and I want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, that, that missed him somehow. Oh, because I have it set to human, and that one's full analid. That's why. One of those things you have to shoot down there? Great. There might be another way to get to it, at least. 
Oh, this person made a little shelter for themselves. I don't know why I thought they would be down here. Fuck. No! No, they can corner! Fuck, I released more. Shit. Oh, and this is. Oh, this is. Oh, this is where I want to be. Okay. This is good. This is good. Just wait for the bugs to die. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're so good. We are so good. Please okay. make your selection. Okay. Midwives unsettle every anyone else. Midwives unsettle everyone else. Everyone hates midwives. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the chemicals we need are in here somewhere. Priority one. Priority one's the analyte launcher. Selenium S E. S-E. S-E. S. There it is. Okay. Oh my god, there's an energy recharge station here. Someone come back from an alien plant sick with the many. Yes, actually. So the many are, the many is actually from System Shock 1. This is the perfect time to go over this because I have to wait for this research to end. Um, the many uh, is from System Shock 1. On Citadel Station, one of Shodan's anti-human experiments, um, yeah, I am going to need that HS, uh, was growing her own like hostile organic life. And one of, this, one of the objectives you have to do in System Shock 1 is to eject that section of the station to ensure that she can't dump it on Earth. So you eject it, you send it into deep space, and it turns out that it Crash landed on a planet, uh, Tau Ceti, I think? M.O. I think I brought M.O. with me. So, fast forward, what, 30-some years? 20 years? 30-some years? Um, the humanity's first faster-than-light ship, the Von Braun, happens to go to Tau Ceti to see what's up. And... They go down to the planet to investigate, and wouldn't you know it, it's covered in these weird fucking eggs that get all up in people's brains and fuck everything up. Somehow it gets to Tau Ceti before the first FTL shit. Don't, don't question it. All right. We now have the Analid Launcher, the most difficult weapon to use in the entire game. Requires Strength 3, Agility 3, Exotic Weapon Skill of 6. Plus you need Research 6 just to research it. It requires more cyber modules to use than anything else in the game. Use analid worms for ammunition. Uh, can be set to pure analid mode or human hybrid mode. Um, and it, and it, and, uh, it's been heavily modified to the point where it's impossible to discern its original function. Designed to deliver payloads of analid worms. Uh, do, do, do. This is a rocket launcher. This is a guided rocket launcher. It's kind of a meme weapon because I don't think it does all that much more damage than the grenade launcher does. Why not launch it into the star? I don't think the hacker in the first game had that kind of option. I think he was more like, oh fuck, oh Jesus, I need to get rid of this thing immediately. Yeah, I, I, there wasn't that kind of control. It was just eject or don't eject. Oh, okay. Bugs. Lies. Uh, we need Technetium TC. There it is. You underestimated his plot power and thought it wouldn't make it this far in such a short time. All right, what did we get? We got worm skin armor. 
Provides both combat and environmental protection as well as increase the wearer's size stat by two. However, it slowly drains user side points. Um, so it's worm skin that you strap onto your body. Uh, and I think if you have no side points while wearing it, it will damage you and kill you. So fuck that shit. Uh, we also need some more HS. Hopefully this is a useful implant. Most of them haven't been useful yet. Doesn't hurt you in the original game. Don't know about fan patches. Wait, really? I guess we can find out. Because I definitely don't need any Psy right now. 20 def, 30 red, 30 talk. Well, it doesn't seem to be hurting me compared to this. Ah, uh, but that's 50 defense. So the worm skin armor is good for environmental shit. So I guess if I want to go, I guess I w if I want to go diving in that, in those radioactive pools, I can wear that. Worm heart, well, this implant is power. The user takes no damage from analyte toxin will regenerate one hit point per 30 seconds. Unfortunately, when the implant ceases being powered or is removed, a great deal of toxin is released into the user's bloodstream. Jesus. I do have a lot of antitoxin hypos, so I might be worth using. Worm armor good for swimming in poop, yes. Okay. Pretty exhausted for no real reason. I mean, it's just been... It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a year. It's been a lot lately. Everything has been a lot of everything. Um, shoot. So I've kind of run out of things. Let's try that again. I've kind of run out of things to upgrade unless I get a whole bunch more uh, upgrade modules. Um. Staying aside, this when this within the span of the last few years is also December, so and that's a meat wall, so fuck it. Oh, is that a beaker? That's a beaker. I love beakers. I need beakers. Worms are also the rarest kind of ammunition in the game. So really the viral proliferator and the analid launcher are just huge pains in the asses to use in general. I'm just doing it because you wouldn't normally get to see this. No one in their right mind would actually go full exotic when it's so much easier to put one point in heavy and just use the grenade launcher for everything. Um, see the growth of the rock plant? I did, yeah. I'm so proud. 184 possible worm ammos in the game. Interesting. Oh, I think maybe this is where I want to go, but I need to blow up all the nerve clusters to get in there. Oh, I'm probably I'm probably supposed to follow these blue uh, this this blue shit to find it. Um. All right. Well, here we go. I guess. Radiation hazard. Oh, there's another one. I'm going to make Stony too and use metagaming monster raising uh, strat so you can compare. The machine mother cannot help you inside the biomass. Her coldness, Her coldness is not welcome yes, within the world. The law of flesh. Radiation hazard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
we go. You oh god, I'm gonna die. Very flesh. With no thought of compassion. compassion. Do you you think oh my god, that's a bunch of that's a whole bunch of worms. I need those. You that's great. The very womb of our existence. Don't talk about wombs, you fucking creep. You utter weirdo. Shut up. Radiation hazard. Just injecting myself with as many drugs as possible right now. <laughs> Just all the fucking drugs. I don't think radiation is going to be much of an issue past here. Okay. Flash is so bright on your camp. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. Okay. So that should have opened this passage. Absolutely bathed in green light. Yes! The super sphincter is open. You seek your associates, but you cannot find them. You are so very alone. How do you feel to be one? Shit, 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 shit. Gotta hate these bugs. I hate metal so much, why do they let the midwives in here? The midwives are interesting because they were human made. That crazy ass doctor on the Von Braun constructed them. And I guess the many was like, okay, this is pretty cool. We can work with this. I hear another one. We found the maw of the many. People that tried to take sh shelter in here, I swear. Ye oldie tooth pillar. Five minutes ago, one of those large, burly creatures tried to plug towards the sound of grinding. Apparently, they didn't use the smaller creatures to have a fight. It's too fast and tricked. The only thing put it wasn't even a contest. It was a shame of Midway. The judge that seen what happened to her was a vital element of my studies here. Observations when it comes my turn. Let's be able to go to the grandma's house. uncomfortable I know I know we'll get out of here as soon as we can this place sucks everything about it sucks Sensation 
No! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm dead. Or not. Or so. Oh, I frustrated him. Ugh. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I still have this. Let's use this. Rumbler thinks the blue sphincter is just as gross as you do. Stop fucking chucking me. Okay. okay there is a, there's a midwife and a spider in here, and I'm not sure which one's going to see me first. She might be back there. He might not be coming out. I don't see any of that. Oh god, it's full of eggs. God damn it. There you are. Ah, ah, ah! Fuck! Shit! Oh god, I'm toxic. Oh god, I'm toxic. Okay. Ah! It's not working! Ugh. Fucker! Ugh. God damn it! Alright. Alright, All right, I'm done here. Done with this fucking place. I'm so over it. Some of the textures, one of the artists used pictures of his recent colonoscopy. This is not improving my opinion of this area. Toxic hazard. Shut up! You're toxic. While I don't understand the analyte life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like analytes that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analyte hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the many itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass. So I imagine that biological material is the primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Okay. The worm armor is killing me. I, I just noticed that. It's very slowly draining my health. Many is explained by way of a Starcraft player. Josh Randall is a producer and musician who works at Looking Glass Studios. He used footage for an end uh, endoscopy of his colon or colonoscopy at the base of the main. <laughs> oh my god, Prefontaine, shut it's up! It's clear that this thing I'm trapped inside is intimately linked with all the organisms I observed on board the Von Braun. Strike that. This creature is the same organism. Perhaps the best way to describe it, or perhaps the only way I can comprehend it, is that the organism serves to perform the highest mental functions of the entire species. The smaller creatures exist only to enact its will. 
Now, strike that too. All the specimens act as a whole, like different organs in a single body, with this entity acting primarily as a brain. If one were to destroy this large specimen, I wonder, would it snuff out all the others? Good question, buddy. You may be about to find out. Whee! Yes, I always knew the world would end in hello.jb. Ah! Fucking shit. Oh, man. I don't even remember what these are like weak again. Ow. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Well, everything about this sucks. Oh god, oh god. Will this work? No, 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 you're, you're not. Where's the brain bit? Where's the brain bit? Fuck you, where is it? It's just gonna come back. Where's the brain? Where's the worms? Here's another one. Great. What if we just leave? How about that? This... This is fucking stupid! I hate this place! Everything about this... God damn it. Finding out the maze tool works on biological weapons. I don't want to deal with any of this. I do not want to deal with any of this. And I ran so hard. To, I ran so hard I killed myself. Great area. Very fun. Super cool. Love it here. God damn it! Fuck! Is there a god mode you can turn on? Very tempting. Very. I hate this part so much. Like this is bad enough just with the rumblers. But then you got you got the brain boys in there too. Alright, that's done. Okay. The brain guys they just keep coming back. This is, this is horse shit right here. This is total fucking horse shit. Oh god, okay, 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 okay. This is it, this is where we need to be. This is, this is the place. Oh, this is where all the brains are. Fuck you! No real good way to do this. There is no good way to do this. Ow, fuckers.
This is the one seriously good use for the Android Launcher. Because you have, you have to blow up those crystals. And, oh god. Fuck. And it will actually home in on the crystals. Boom! There we go. Do you know what you have got? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Oh, I think. Do we leave? God, fuck you, man. All I had, all I had to do from that point was to just get in that hole. That was it. I hit that wall so hard I hurt myself. Not what I want. You, that is not what I want you to do, buddy. Though I do suppose this is the last time that weapon's gonna be useful. So, all right, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna clear this place out. They have pissed me off. They have fucked with me and fucked with me and fucked with me. Well, now they're gonna die. That doesn't hurt them because they're... I don't know what they count as. Is Vanilly gonna hurt them? Yes. Yeah. Shut up! Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. I'm done. Fuck you, the many. They didn't have time to give this boss the ability to attack? Yeah. So they just crammed it full of bullshit. Alright. Alright. Now, now time for hole. Now we can enjoy the hole. I know that's what we all wanted. Ah, the hole. How do you go down to hole? <clears throat> we die. We die. Good. You're a fucker. Beware the machine mother. She is a stranger. She is a stranger to everything we cherish. I didn't know I love a nice refreshing hole after running through the flesh corners. Where am I? This area is called Where Am I? No map data available. Thank you for running my errands, puppet. I know you have struggled. Stru struggled, but I never had any intention of destroying the Von Braun. Destroying the Von Braun. The Von Braun's faster than light drive can be used to create pockets of pro, -pro, -pro, -pro pockets of proto reality. I am now using it to modify reality to, to my to my own specifications. 
The process shall not take long, long, long. If it sounds unpleasant to you, put your mind at ease, in insect. You will not survive to see my new world order. Curse your inevitable betrayal, etc., etc. Yeah, Showdown's evil. Okay, the real bummer about this is all this neat analid bullshit that we got is going to be completely useless from here on out. Because I'm pretty sure all the enemies are just tech. Hello. If you are receiving this, I am already dead. Yep. When I are. realized Shodan had betrayed me, I integrated these comments into her primary data loop. Shodan has exploited the warping capability of the Von Braun's faster than light device for her own purposes. Sure the has. device works by altering space around the ship to fairly arbitrary specifications. Shodan has altered it to her specifications. The effect is rather small now, but spreads with alarming speed. Soon it will reach Earth. You are in her world now, her memories, and her rules. Watch your back. So this is cool because this is a, this is actually a recreation of Citadel Station. The glory of my memories, insect, insect, insect. I I can feel your fear as you tread the endless expanse of my mind. Make 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 yourself make yourself comfortable. Along. I will decorate my home with, 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 with your carcass. With your carcass. At least there's a charger here. Cyberspace is significantly less impressive than it was in the first game. Um, let's blast this guy. These guys. See, the cyborg ninjas are so dumb in this game. And I don't know why. I can't see you. Oh, I die. Pay $500 to be a corpse on Citadel Station, the remake, a game that is never coming out, apparently. Actually, I, I heard that the System Shock 2 remake is actually looking to come out next year. So all all hope may not yet be lost. Possibly. I don't know why I'm blowing up these cameras. Makes me feel better, I guess. What the fuck was that? Okay, that one saw me. And I missed. How? I hate that it's just oops all cyborg assassins from this point on. Oh, I guess this, these data things hurt me.
Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure which would be worse at this point. Actually, that that that's a lie. The many was way worse. This is neat, at least. This this, this is an interesting concept. Another Delacroix log. You are near the seat of Shodan's power. How did she? You will probably not be able to defeat her, but there is no choice. Remember to focus on your strengths. She will be vulnerable to your weaponry ow, ow, and ow, your ow, psionic ow. powers. I've been able to introduce some assistance in the form of virtual terminals that you can hack into. They should help you defeat the monster. Looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, 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 wait, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. It's fine, I saved it. No, binary, my one weakness. Wee. Hey, what's up? Understand the stakes here. If Shodan is left to continue, her reality will completely assimilate ours. Space will become cyberspace, and Shodan's whims will become reality. sequence is so weird. Is that what computers look like on the inside? Yes. This is this is how AIs actually work. Okay. I did it. I don't understand. How could you have done this? You weren't meant to be. Now. 
too human. The cybernetic implants I gave you were simply toys. If I just desired, I could improve you. Transform you into some... Into something more efficient. Join me, human. And we can move. And we can move together. Nah. And that fixed reality. No problem, we're good. It's like a YouTube shit post. Escape Report pod. Tommy Suarez, 13 July 14. So these are the people that actually got away. From a crew member on board the Van Braun. They managed yes. to regain control of the ship. We're going to turn around and head back. I'm a little concerned about Rebecca. She's been acting strangely since we've come on board. She's asleep now. Maybe when we get back to the Von Braun, we can... Tommy. What's the matter, lover? Don't you like my new look? The end, no moral. <laughs> She's fine. The stress just turned her hair into tentacles. Didn't realize she was a distant descendant of Medusa. That's all. It's not a big deal. And that's it. Cyber implants, not even once. Ladies and gentlemen, that was System Shock 2. Again. Like I've been saying, and as you should damn well understand now, uh, one of the greatest three quarters of a game ever made. <laughs> but that last quarter, that last quarter fucking oof. This, that is why this will never be my, my favorite game in this genre. This is why, this is why Prey, Arcane's Prey is my favorite game in this genre. This is why I prefer Deus Ex. Yeah. Have a, drink, have a drink to celebrate. Don't mind if I do. Actually pretty much out. <clears throat> Wasn't the end of the game super rushed? That's why there's so many times. Yes. Yes, it is incredibly obvious that everything past the Von Braun was super rushed. Um, I don't know what their original plans were. I assume from the bit of map that you do get on the Rickenbacker, that the Rickenbacker was supposed to be like a smaller version of the Von Braun with multiple decks that you go to and lots of backtracking and stuff. And then it just ended up being this completely linear egg scavenger hunt. Um, just crammed full of turrets and bullshit. The many, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't have wanted the many to be any bigger. Maybe if they had had t more time or focus on that, it wouldn't have sucked quite as bad. They wouldn't have had an idiot hallway full of rumblers and, and brain things. Um, I don't know. And then the ending, mm, I really hope that wasn't the original plan for the ending. I hope it was just like, we're shipping this game in three in three days and we haven't finished the story. What do we do? And then plans for even more detailed buttholes. <laughs> Drank several bottles of vodka and fruit juice to celebrate. Ate a monkey's chips for good measure. The only way to celebrate, truly. Colonoscopies of all the team members. Imagine. Yeah, so. I mean, let's not, you know. Let's not overlook the contributions that this game has made to the gaming landscape. We wouldn't have the wealth of immersive sims that we have now if not for this game. This game paved the way 
for a lot of really, really good games to follow. And it's still an accomplishment that it is, it is as good as it is given the circumstances of its development. So, and I'm certainly not gonna argue with anybody who says this is their favorite game. It's a very good game for the most part. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. As, as much complaining as I, as I do about the Rickenbacker, about the many, about where am I, uh, the Von Braun is amazing. The Von Braun is definitely one of the most amazing experiences in video games. Um, it's just, it's incredibly well-crafted. It's super atmospheric. It's interesting. It's cozy, like I said earlier. <clears throat> yeah, Shodan's bottom. <laughs> Very influential game with a lot of high points and then some low points at Yes, yes, strong. And I mean, you know, I, I keep mentioning Deus Ex. Deus Ex is in a very similar boat. You know, it is also a game that ran out of time and or money. Um, and it definitely shows in its final levels and the levels leading up to it. I do think, I, again, I do think Deus Ex handled it more elegantly overall and it forms a more, <coughs> excuse me, more cohesive and satisfying game. But yeah, high points basketball. <laughs> well, I'm not ready to, to wrap up just yet. There is actually something else we can do. I can load into where am I for this. Because. Thank you for running my errands, puppet. I know you have stru str struggled, but I never had any intention of destroying the Von Braun. The Von Braun is faster than light drive, can be used to create pockets of pro 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 pockets of proto reality. We never I'm messed around with the gameplay. Using it to modify reality to, to, my, to my own. The process shall not take long, long, long. If it sounds unpleasant to you, put your mind at ease, in insect. You will not survive to see my new world order. Okay, shut up. Let's play some Game Pig games. So over the course of the game, we managed to find Swine Keeper, Overworld Zero, Street Hog, Tic Tac Triop, Swine Hunter, and Gulp. Uh, with max hacking, we can hack this. I'm not sure if we'll unlock more, like, more games, but let's play the ones we have so far. And, uh, and then we'll check. Corn attracts swine, don't step on the corn. Okay. Ah, uh, I stepped on the. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna beat a game of uh, Swine Hunter for sure. Has to be done. Take a guess on the part. Uh, uh, gotta be one of these. Those. That one. <sighs> can't be there. Know that, it can't be there. This one's done, so that there, there, there. These guys are all done. There is a game on Steam, I don't know how many of y'all were around when I played it, called Demon Crawl, which is basically like RPG roguelike uh, Minesweeper, and I was fucking obsessed with that game for a while. I loved it. I can, I can seriously play Minesweeper for hours. Very, very fun. Um, three... Yeah, we have to cram three in here somewhere.
Minesweeper eludes you. It's just it's it's just a set of rules you have to learn to follow. Hey, I found all the corn. I win. Uh, when you play a lot of it, it's it starts to make sense. Um, I'm gonna skip Overworld Zero for now because that's the big one. Um, Wait, what? I totally made that. Wins, one, oink. Is this an Easter egg? No, this is an item you can find in several places in the game. Um, it's just, it's an MFD game player called The Game Pig, and it's just a little collection of mini games that you can play whenever you want. You have to find the software for it. New high score, one win, nice. I guess some of the games could be con considered um, Easter eggs. Oh no, that doesn't work, shit. Xerxes has won. Um, Xerxes. If I recall, this is impossible to win because the AI always plays perfectly. Yeah, he's, he's always starting the corner. Yeah. Screwed myself on that one. All right, fuck you, Xerxes. Swine hunter. Oh god. Oh look at this. This is cute. Pew pew pew. Oh, they shoot. Oh, they shoot you at the side. That's mean. At least you get lives for this one. There you go. They leave really gross blood stain. Okay, okay, so bumping into them doesn't kill you. Oh no, those are civilian cars. Fuck. I lost I lost my score for blowing them up. Alright, so you get five hundred per pig. Okay, okay, we're doing good now. Doing okay now. Ah, uh, shoot. I think he got us. Uh, golf! Wow. I think I overshot the green rather badly there. Oops. I'm a level with you. This isn't exactly the best version of golf I've ever played. Oh, God damn it.
You were four over. Yeah, but I made it. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, that went pretty straight. That went pretty okay. I actually, I kind of wonder if I could hit it straight across. Let's try it. No, 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 straight across. We got a bit of wind to help us. Oh, that looks pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, that was really good. Damn, look at that. Look at that hit. Good thing Xerxes wasn't in charge of trying to try take over the universe. Uh, let's do a little pitch. I mean, that got us on the green. Drops in a birdie! Hey, look at that! Got me a bird. Alright, I've had enough of that. Alright, Overworld Zero. So this is actually like a little RPG. Yes, six HP, we're level one, no GP. Okay, the little yellow dots are gold. Found a house. That's nobody's home. You were seen. Bat missed, bat missed, bat did three damage, bat missed. Leave me alone. Apparently I can't fight or anything. Oh, I'm dead. Kill by bat, 82 turns, level 1, 6 GP, 0 XP. Deliver this to Dozy, okay. Thanks for the package. Oh, I gained some XP, nice. Deliver this to Zim. I don't know who that is or where they are or anything. The scene. So wait, is this is this actually like the precursor to Death Stranding? I thought this was like a little RPG, not a delivery simulator. A lot of gold. You fill grenades with your poop? Oh, I guess not. That's a good point. Oh, I got 7 XP. Thanks for the package. My pleasure. Deliver this to Kuz. Death Stranding with a better story. I need to get back to Death Stranding sometime. I have been, I have been completely absorbed with um, trying to finish uh, Titan Quest. Trying to finish all the all the DLC for Titan Quest. I'm most of the way through. I'm I'm near the end of uh, Ragnarok now. Ragnarok has been super good. Like it actually feels like it feels like a, a like a proper expansion to it. Like coming right after Immortal Throne. Pray at the shrine for level. Oh my god, I can level up. Like it's 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 amazing, really. Like. You know, I love Titan Quest. The base game is all right. Immortal Throne did a couple things, uh, a couple new things that I really appreciated, different from the base game. And then Ragnarok seems to kind of do the same thing. It actually feels like like an evolution. No, I want I want a level. Fuck off. Pond Squid, fuck you, Pond. No, the Pond the Pond Squid killed me. Death Strand is a real life 2021 delivery simulation. 407 turns down the drain. Fuck you, Pond Squid. More like Pond Scum. Go 
deliver this to Caesar. This is a weird game because you can't tell who's who lives anywhere. Like Caesar could be like a million turns away and I wouldn't know. This is Ultima? Wow, no wonder the Ultima series died. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Neyo. Looking Glass did work on some Ultima games. Really? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Please be Caesar. You're not Caesar! God damn it! Another 256 turns. Or rolled over by Lord Brexit. I, I guess the world repeats. Because this is all starting to look familiar again. Please, I'm begging you, just let me deliver it to the right house. Please, it's all I want in life. Please. Please, I don't ask much. Just let me find the house this dumb package is supposed to go to. Before the fucking pond whatever's kill me. Oh God, why? 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 Oh, okay. All right, fuck it. We're gonna hack the game pig, see if we can get some other, uh, some other games up in here. Hacking successful. Nope. The Rick and Becker broke him this badly he's playing the game pig. I beat the game, Eva. I beat the game. I said nah to Shodan's face and then blew it up. And I thought we'd go back in and play some game pig for a bit, but. Oh, you need to use cheats to get the other games. Oh, I thought hacking, I thought hacking the game pig would get me the other game. Wow, it actually remembers your progress. That's kind of cool. All right, well, you know what? That's fine. That's okay. I think this is probably a good place to stop anyway and end our special Sunday stream, because we did it. We've cleared the deck, folks. We actually managed to do it. We finished Resident Evil, we finished System Shock. We're all clear for a bunch of Game Boy goodness this coming week. Thanks for saving us around to play the last quarter of the game. My pleasure. Remember, if you ever decide to play System Shock 2 yourself, finish the Von Braun. When you show up on the Rickenbacker, shut down the game, never return to it, and make up your own ending and it'll be way better. You play it again, I missed it? Nah. <laughs> All right, so, um, schedule. Like I said, you did that your second playthrough? <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we are playing uh, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. First canon appearance of Wario. Very exciting stuff. Really looking forward to putting the uh, analog pocket through its proper paces. Um, should only take one night. So Tuesday, yeah, he's fucking thick, that's for sure. Tuesday, we should be able to start Final Fantasy Legend 3. And that night, we are going to do a channel point auction to let y'all uh, name the characters. Y'all are gonna bid in chat how many channel points you're willing to pony up to name a character, I'm gonna let four lucky chatters pay through the nose to name our characters some meme-worthy thing. It's gonna be a sweet hour of gameplay, yeah, seriously. I got other stuff I can play too, it's fine. So, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are all, Vrargar, thank you for the follow. Uh, all gonna be Final Fantasy III. I think we'll probably be able to finish that next week, would be my guess. 
Um, Friday, Indie Variety Night, Christmas Eve. Uh, we're we'll definitely be looking at the Madvent calendar this year. Hopefully, we'll also have time to get to the Dredge the Depths uh, game jam. So it's going to be a whole bunch of janky indie horror bullshit. It's going to be great. I love it. Um, Saturday, Christmas Day, Christmas night, I guess. Power Hours return. We're jumping right back into the Power Hour. And from now on, every Friday, Indie Variety Night, every Saturday, Power Hour. At you when you get to the Mad Vent. Okay, somebody help me to help me remember uh, to let Arcane know when we're doing Mad Vent. Because they have background deets on one of the games. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, and then one more thing. Going to go ahead and mention it again for the folks that came in late. A week from tomorrow, December 27th, is actually the six-year anniversary of Gold-Plated Games as an entity. I started re reviewing games a few years before that. I didn't start streaming until a couple of years after that, but that is when I first put the name Gold-Plated Games out into the world on my Steam Curator page. So, uh, that night, we're not gonna be playing anything. We're just gonna be chatting. I'm gonna go through a bunch of my old reviews. We're gonna talk about lost and obscure games. Um, and we're gonna talk about some other stuff. We're gonna talk about some other changes I'm thinking about making to the channel. Uh, some other stuff that we might wanna be doing in the near future. So it should be a good time. Some of the, some of the most fun we have on this channel is when we just sit around and yammer about stuff. And believe it or not, even though I've been streaming for three and a half years, this will be the first stream that's just three hours of yammering. Who knows? Could be fun. Anyway. Thank you, System Shock 2. Thank you, Shodan, for giving us something to do for a couple weeks. Um, let me find somebody for y'all to raid, and I will let you go on your merry way. Um, how about, let's say, let's say I send you over to Dama. Dama is playing a game called Hourglass, something about time clones. Sounds interesting to me. We haven't raided her in a hot minute. So yeah, gang. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget, it was your choice uh, to put System Shock 2 on our radar and do the full playthrough, and I'm glad we did. I'm glad I... It's been a couple of years, many years, actually, since I last revisited this game. And it was, you know, three quarters of a good time. We did vote on... We did vote up some other stuff. Um when we had the vote for System Shock, and I haven't forgotten about that. And some of that stuff might be coming up sooner rather than later. But of course, we got Game Boy games to play first. Regardless, hopefully I will see you tomorrow night for uh, Super Mario Land 2. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.